What ethnic or religious group has the most underrated food? Georgian. The traditional dumplings are out of this world, and any cuisine that has cheese stuffed bread as an iconic dish is one I can get behind. I recommend watching Anthony Bourdain's episode on Georgia. Georgia, the country, is much obliged. Taiwanese food. It's not easy to find here in the US but damn is it good. It's like a hybrid between Chinese and Japanese foods that then went on to become street foods. It's fantastic. You all know bubble tea? Yeah, that originated in Taiwan and is basically the only well-known Taiwanese food drink. I, sadly, only know bubble tea and fluffy tasty shaved ice said to be. Is it really Taiwan style? Taiwan style here in Japan I think I can find more here willing to try when we can try much more safer. Peruvian? It's like a Japanese chef landed on an alien planet and made a Japanese recipe except everything is substituted by said alien vegetables. Chifa, Peruvian style of cooking. Fusion of Asian and traditional Peruvian food, needs to be spread far and wide, it is incredible. Also, the Peruvian ceviches are better than most other countries ceviche. Nobody says Dutch food because Dutch food is meant to feed laborers and appease the Calvinist desire for being miserable. Stroopwiffel, though. Edible coffee lid. El Salvadorian. Love me some pupusas. Also Persian food. Lots of fresh fruit nuts. Totally unique flavors. Salvadorian here. Pupusas are our iconic traditional food but what I really enjoy are quesadillas. Unlike Mexican quesadillas, it is a sweet bread based on cheese. Highly recommended. <laughs> Afghan. We have so many good foods. One of my favorite restaurants in San Francisco was the Helmand. I'll booch the spelling, but the Orshak, Mantuo and Kuwabli were all incredible. And the price point was absolutely beautiful. Edit. Ooh. Forgot the Caddo. I think it was Caddo. Spiced pumpkin with like a savory beef ragu or something. Absurdly good. <laughs> Lebanese. Gota B. Kufta. Manishum. Manikish is great. Filipino. My mom had a Filipino friend who used to cook for us sometimes and it was always so freaking good. I haven't tried it at an actual restaurant but I would like to. Hell yeah was about to say Filipino food as well. I haven't actually seen any Filipino restaurants in any country unless it was in the Philippines though. I mean each one is good food. Ultimately, yes. But some get a bad rap for no reason or are relatively unknown around the world. Yeah bad rap usually books down to fear of new things. Name a good British food. I like British breakfast. Historically speaking the Asia Minor region, modern day Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Iran Iraq, has had a significant influence on cuisine throughout the world, both in terms of technique and ingredients, and it's really delicious. Yeah, the donut kebab gave way to the gyro, shawarma, and even tacos al pasta, which Lebanese Mexicans invented based on shawarma. <laughs> Ever been to a Catholic potluck? You got Italian food, Micronesian food, every salad you could ever think of. Ever been to a Southern Baptist potluck? You got green bean casserole, squash casserole casserole, chicken and dumplings, an entire table with just 7 layer salads in it, typo. Hot damn that's a lot of casserole. Hawaiian. Pork plate lunches are the best thing in the world. With the mac salad, so good. IKR and some poke and rice and a few pupers are awesome. Burmese. The dishes I have had remind me of Thai Indian Chinese but with flavor turned to 200%. I never knew a salad made with tea leaves could be so delicious. Tibetan. What is Tibetan food? I've never seen it before, so I am genuinely curious. I just tried it for the first time not long ago so forgive me if I don't totally get this right. It's like a lot of Asian foods in that it's often a spicy dish paired with rice or noodles. Two of my favorites you can google to get an idea are momus, meat wrapped in dough, and churakatsa, fried cheese dish. <laughs> Yemeni food is excellent. Yes, I'll eat anything with zhaug on it. Portuguese. So much delicious fish. Bacalao for life. Yes, 
My mom's family is from the Azores but I don't get to eat it nearly enough. <laughs> Jamaican or Native American? Native American food is so good and I have no idea why it's not more popular in the US. It has a big influence on American cuisine but more traditional dishes are still hard to find in restaurants. What I am learning here is that every culture in the world has some absolutely fantastic foods and that we should all just be eating as much food as possible from foreign places. Juza Maza Ball Soup Barbka and Holla Cuban Ropa Vija and Plantains That's like what you eat in between the good shit to take a break from Flavor Town Frikes de Polo, Vaca Frita, Bistec Empanizado, Lechon Asado, and of course, Piccadillo rice with everything or you didn't really have a meal me personally. I am a lime freak I put that shit on everything. <laughs> Venezuelan. A rep person catch a purse FTW. Era purse are delicious. <laughs> Indian food, in my opinion. I didn't think I would like it because I thought it was all spicy. But I tried it for the first time and it was absolutely amazing. I agree it's great but I wouldn't call it underrated. Maybe that's just where I am though. Definitely not underrated. It's probably one of the most popular cuisines in the world. <laughs> British. Really. I made my first steak and ale pie yesterday. And it tasted like heaven. Also. Yorkshire pudding to match a good roast beef with gravy is a must for me. I like a full English breakfast when traveling. Coffee. Some toast. Sausages, eggs, beans, mushrooms and tomatoes. You forgot black pudding there mate. Indian street food. Everyone talks about butter chicken and biryani and curries when it comes to Indian cuisine but the street food is just so good also the desserts are just amazing. Northeast Indian is so underrated too. Polish. My go to comfort food to make is pierogi. Good stuff. Biryani. The only food I ate other than from my religion it is really good you have to at least once. It's common to a few counties in South Asia right? Biryani is huge in South India. <laughs> College students, as a group, their food is vastly underrated, and rightly so. <laughs> Dominicans. Nobody seems to know about it, and I always get skeptical looks when I talk about it, but they can cook rice like nobody's business. The Dono Party. Great for family gatherings. You can get it in a bulk family value. Caribbean. Jerk chicken is my downfall. Same. Bone in chicken thigs. Smoked. Lithuanian. They have a lot of delicious potato dishes like potato sausage, bacon or mincemeat stuffed potato pancakes. Those large mincemeat stuffed potato dumplings called sepalins that are either boiled or fried. These foods are usually served with sour cream, mushroom sauce or chopped fried bacon or combination of these. <laughs> West African food. My friend took me a Ghanaian restaurant a long time ago and it was amazing. Ever since then I've been beasting on all sorts of West African food from different countries. Jollof rice is one of the greatest things ever. Best part is every country does it a little different. <laughs> Japanese food. They're healthy and not excessive with spices. Pretty much everyone can like Japanese food. I wouldn't say Japanese food is underrated at all. I guess it depends on where you're from. But in the US Japanese restaurants are extremely common. Yeah very common here in Japan too. Kidding. The Caribbean Islanders have amazing food. Jerk chicken, oxtail, rice and beans, greens, mac and cheese and jerk shrimp. So much good food, so much to name. Don't forget the plantains. That's the biggest Jamaican platter I've ever seen. Jerk chicken, jerk beef, jerk pork. Is there any meat this man can't jerk? Herms Conrad. Somali superior Indian food. I wouldn't say superior Indian food but Somali good is very very nice. Highly recommend. Give me a better explanation and I'll edit it. Middle Western. What is Middle Western? German food. See, it's even underrated in the underrated food post. I think Germany has the least tasty food in Europe. I know, huge country, many regions, even more dishes, 
but I never had a traditional German dish when I said oh, my god this is awesome. But the beers are awesome though. <laughs> Have you ever tried to make a curry at home? It's actually a really simple and cheap way to make a delicious, healthy meal and a ton of leftovers. When I went to the Bahamas they had the best fish I ever tasted. Looked kind of funky though. Also Puerto Rican food was the best all round. The British. Yeah yeah. I know all the stereotypes about bland food. But lamb with mint sauce is delicious. Swedish food. Obviously meatballs are boss. But there's also things like skagen, semla, Johansson's temptation, etc. I'm half Swedish and all my roommates and friends in college would go nuts for any of the Swedish food I made. Jansen's Temptation. Burmese. K.O. Sui is hands down one of the most incredible things I've ever eaten. Nepalese food and dumplings especially. OML so good. Flavors are more tangy than Indian. And less sweet than Chinese. IDK. Very unique flavors I can't really compare. Try it if you can conservative christian american food i know you're joking but i disagree when i was younger i'd spend time with my family in se and their church had awesome picnics ribs pulled pork mac and cheese so good finish it up with pecan pie and peach cobbler delicious <laughs>